Matt Nagy was hired back in 2018 and immediately took the struggling Chicago Bears to his first playoff appearance since 2010, winning AP Coach of the Year along the way. The future looked extremely bright as Nagy and the Bears made some major moves in the offseason to build a successful team around then second-year quarterback Mitch Trubisky. But ever since, the Bears have fallen flat, coming in third in their division last season and currently sit at third this season. Two years ago, they went 12-4 and and made the playoffs, but Chicago is fighting to stay in the race. So... What changed? If you love JD Productions, check out JD Hoops, where we're going to be uploading basketball content soon. We'll be releasing our first video once we hit 2,000 subscribers. So go subscribe and hit that notification bell. Matt Nagy was seen as the saving grace to the formerly John Fox led Bears. To say that Fox was disappointing is an understatement. During his tenure as head coach, the Bears went 14 and 34. Absolutely awful. It's safe to say they were in need of big change, and it seemed hiring Nagy was the first sign of that. Nagy was a former arena a football quarterback before joining Andy Reid's staff in 2008 with the Philadelphia Eagles. When Reid left Philadelphia, he brought Nagy with him to the Kansas City Chiefs, where Nagy took over as the offensive coordinator in 2016. He was praised as a very intelligent and an outside-the-box thinker. Nagy was said to run an Andy Reid-inspired West Coast offense. I know, shocker, which had the potential to help out second-year starter Mitchell Trubisky. Trubisky was drafted third overall at the 2017 NFL Draft, and the Bears even traded up to get him. If that draft sounds familiar, to you, it should. It was the draft where the Chiefs took Patrick Mahomes and the Texans got Deshaun Watson. And boy, did the Bears miss on those two. Trubisky stepped into Chicago as the backup to Mike Glennon, but after a horrible 1-3 start to the season, head coach John Fox benched Glennon and named Mitch the starter. Trubisky struggled in his first season, going 4-8 as the starter, completing 59.4% of his passes for 2,193 yards and 7 touchdowns to 7 interceptions. Despite his struggles, Trubisky showed slight signs of being a capable starter in the league, and in his second season, the Bears brought in Matt Nagy, who was supposed to save the team from their struggles. Along with the hiring of Nagy, the Bears also brought in former Jacksonville wide receiver Allen Robinson. 2018 was a good year to be a Bears fan, as the team went 12-4 behind Trubisky's 3,223 yard and 24 touchdown to 12 interception season, which featured a big win over the NFC West winner Los Angeles Rams. Unfortunately, the fun came to an end in the wildcard round, when the Bears narrowly lost to the Eagles. 16 to 15. Since then, Trubisky has not been the same. He saw a decrease in almost every statistical category, passing for 3,138 yards and 17 touchdowns to 10 interceptions the season after. As a result, the Bears went 8-8 eight and eight and missed out on the playoffs only one year removed from winning their division. In the offseason, the Bears brought in some quarterback competition in Nick Foles. The two battled it out in training camp, and while the general consensus indicated that neither player impressed, Trubisky was seen as the safe option and was named the starter. Mitch played well against the Lions in Week 1, but struggled in the Bears' next two contests, despite Chicago going 3-0 over the span. In Week 3 against the Falcons, Mitch entered the game as the starter, but was benched following an interception in favor of Nick Foles. Mitch is on a clear decline, but the real question is Trubisky to blame for the Bears' struggles. Since Nagy has taken over as head coach, he has also been calling the offensive plays. Since the 2018 season, the Nagy-led Bears have gone from the 9th best offense in the league to the 29th. That's quite the drop. So what really happened in those two years? Well, the answer isn't so clear. The Bears' problems on offense started to show themselves in the 2019 season after it was made clear that not only was the quarterback not working, but neither was the offensive scheme. On the year, only four games didn't feature an offensive turnover, and while the receiving core and running backs were good, none of that mattered with a struggling offensive line, something that has lingered into 2020. While it's easy to put all blame on your quarterback, the doubts of Trubisky were silenced when Nick Foles took over as the starter in week three. Trubisky was benched due to turnover concerns after throwing for six touchdowns to three interceptions in three games. However, Foles wasn't able to be the saving grace that Chicago needed, throwing 10 touchdowns to eight interceptions. Most of that due to the scheme run by Nagy and his misunderstanding of what's happening on the field. When speaking to ESPN's Brian Greasy, Foles stated, sometimes play calls come in and I know that I don't have the time to execute that play. Adding, sometimes the guy calling the plays, he doesn't know how much time there is back there. So so that's something they have to get worked out. This statement alone gives us some perspective into the chemistry of this team as well as the lack of communication. Nagy voiced his displeasure with the situation in Chicago following the Bears' blowout loss to the Green Bay Packers, calling out all players and coaches, stating, Every freaking coach on the on the staff, every player, better wake up and start, start understanding where we're at. Have some personal pride. Have a freaking sense, sense of urgency. He added, With that performance yesterday, um, 
is uh, is ridiculous and, and, and can't happen. And, and obviously that starts with me. Nagy clearly is starting to get fed up with the Bears losing ways. So who is to blame then? Well, it's not that easy to pinpoint a specific player or coaching staff member that has caused the demise of this organization, more so that it's an overall team problem. The Bears offensive line has significantly gotten worse every season since their 2018 playoff run, which is a huge attribution to their struggle. If they want a successful offense, they need to fix that first. Secondly, their quarterback play has been atrocious. In the Bears' first 12 contests, Nick Foles and Mitch Trubisky combined to complete 62.98% of their passes for 2,654 yards and 19 touchdowns to 13 interceptions. It seems as though a new quarterback is needed in Chicago, as the Bears recently declined Trubisky's fifth-year option and Foles clearly isn't the answer. The Bears must look to the draft for someone who can easily step into their scheme and feel comfortable. A possible candidate to look into would be BYU quarterback Zach Wilson. BYU runs a variant of the West Coast offense as well, meaning Wilson would be able to step into Chicago's scheme relatively easily. The Bears are not going to have an incredibly high draft pick this year, so aiming at a more realistic target in Wilson is probably their best bet. The most ideal situation would be to use Foles as a bridge quarterback and give Wilson time to mature under someone who has had more success in the league. However, it's important to note that a new quarterback might not solve all of Chicago's problems. The Bears have been on a decline since 2018, and Matt Nagy's job could potentially be on the line because of it. Chicago is in the market for a new quarterback, but everything should be on the table for the Bears after back-to-back -back disappointing campaigns after winning the division. Nagy needs to formulate a new plan and do it fast. There is a way out of this slump, and like he said, it starts with him. Thanks for watching. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter for more JD. We read all of our DMs and love hearing what you have to say. Looking to fly, my dude. I know I can do the night justice. Trust in my crew can cause a ruckus, cause we on top. Can't stop once we get a beat locked in high bin. We headed to Dobson. It's five until the cops pull up high, cause they smoke and roll up. So snort and blow a lot. Please give me a minute.